Hello, my name is Anand Rangarajan. I'm a product marketing manager in the 32-bit microcontroller division at Microchip Technology. I'd like to talk about how to create a simple application using our award-winning software framework, MPLAB Harmony. The prerequisite to getting started here is that the latest version of MPLAB X IDE, XE32 compiler, and MPLAB Harmony has been installed and that you have one of our board support packages. Also, please note that the MPLAB Harmony Configurator, MHC, is a plugin and has to be installed in MPLAB X IDE. For more information on this, please refer to microchip.com slash harmony. Now, let's get started. The BSP that we'll be using today is the PIC32MZ Embedded Connectivity Starter Kit. The app that we'll be writing today is a flashing LED with a time interval of one second. Once the MPLAB X IDE is started, the first step is to create a new project with the MPLAB Harmony project option highlighted. In the next screen, the project is named and the PIC32 device that will be used for the application or is in the BSP is chosen. This allows the MPLAB Harmony configurator to customize the configuration options based on the selected PIC32 device. The MPLAB Harmony configurator is now used to pick the configuration settings for the project. The BSP configuration settings is used to select the board support package for this application. Next, the clock diagram tab is used to pick the clock frequency and PLL settings for the microcontroller. Now, the driver options are chosen from the Harmony Framework configuration tree to pick the timer settings. The interrupt mode is not enabled. The 32-bit timer mode is picked and a time period equivalent to one second is chosen. Note the context sensitive help in the right window provides all possible configuration setting options. Now, the code for the project is generated. This generates the entire project code with all the configuration options that were chosen earlier, including the timer settings. To begin writing the application, the app.c file in the source file is opened. In the app initialize function, the code to start the timer is written. The timer would start counting down from the value that was set in the configuration step earlier. The Harmony help document lists all the available functions. Once you start typing the subroutine, you can use a keyboard shortcut control plus space keys together to have Harmony provide context-based function options to choose from. The code for toggling the LED must be written in the state machine inside the app tasks function. First, we wait in a loop until the timer has counted down to one second. Then, the BSP function to toggle the LED is called. This function is the same for all the different BSPs within MPLAB Harmony. Now, the code is built and compiled. The MHC already performs the pin mapping to map the I.O. pins to the LEDs in the BSPs automatically, saving us time and effort. In just a few minutes, we have now written our first application using MPLAB Harmony with just three lines of code. Now, let's see an approach to writing the same application using interrupts. In the MHC, the driver settings for the timer are enabled for interrupts. The code is then regenerated. Now, the application is modified to perform the same LED toggle function based on interrupts. The interrupt ID chosen is based on the interrupt mapping of the microcontroller. The functions used to track the setting and clearing of the interrupts are defined in a header file that needs to be included in the project. The control and space keys are pressed again to prompt Harmony for help on function usage. The code is compiled and we now have an interrupt-based flashing LED application. Now that you're familiar with our programming environment, we hope that you will start exploring the full potential of our award-winning software framework, MPLAB Harmony, to help you create your complex applications. For more information on MPLAB Harmony and MPLAB Harmony Configurator, please visit microchip.com slash harmony. Thanks for watching.